So as I said earlier, I was looking for another Linux version and a distro. And I came across Zorin 17.1 and I installed that instead of Linux Mint. So I formatted this 12 year old laptop and installed a clean version of Zorin OS 17.1 and it's the core version. The problem what I came across immediately was that the simple screen recorder doesn't work. That's annoying. And also Kazam doesn't work. And I know there is a workaround and I tell you what that workaround is, but I can't show you on screen because the screen recorder doesn't work. You can log out. Once you logged in, you log out, then you click on your username to log in again. But before you log in again, you go on that little cogwheel and there you go from Zorin OS to Zorin OS on C org. A X org, X org, something like that. It, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but X org. And what that does is that go somehow from Wayland to X org. And that has something to do. Don't ask me what with the display, how the whole display thingy is processed. You don't see any difference. And that's it. Then you can use the screen recorder. And then why, so why didn't you do the screen recording? You may ask because it still doesn't work. So on Linux Mint, a simple screen recorder works without any problem. And Sorin OS, n neither the simple screen recorder works nor Kazam. Um, also, OBS doesn't work, but that's a problem with the graphics in a card in this laptop. So it's a, it's a 12 year old laptop and it's not supported in any way by OBS. I am convinced that if I install that distro on my main machine, that it will work just fine with OBS. So there is not a drawback from, oh my gosh, I can't use Kazam or simple screen recorder that are applications that I wouldn't use anyway on my main computer. How However, um, what I want to talk about is that this version of Linux is in my eyes more beautiful than Linux Mint. It's also faster. It boots faster. Linux Mint on this old laptop takes one minute and 59 seconds to be operational so that when you move your mouse, something happens and that is one minute and 43 seconds, I believe, with uh, Sorin OS. Uh, it looks more beautiful. It looks more Windows-like for whatever how important you think that is. I like the Windows layout normally. While at the same time, I want to say that it's not a, really an argument to say that uh, there is a learning curve because the differences. You see, if you switch from windows 10 to 11 there will also be a learning curve so the learning curve itself isn't really an argument for me not to switch to uh, linux what would be an argument not to switch to linux is the fact that with all the distros i have a certain feeling that we are not entirely there yet i still don't know if there are certain surprises and i mean that in the a negative sense <laughs> there are any surprises with compatibility and programs that i might need i don't know I'm at a point where I went from I would totally switch to make at least dual boot so you can always go back to your Windows 10 version. And the positive thing, of course, is that the earlier you begin to dive into this, the better. There is also, of course, that thing that the usual Windows user, who is the usual Windows user, the normal Windows user? I believe that if you do more with your computer than just going on the internet and saving some files on your computer, 
then you are okay. If you go a little bit further and you come into the problem zone with your applications that you might need to use for certain hobbies. I don't know what your hobbies are, of course, but if you have certain things that you want to do and that bring you into a situation where you really have to dive very deep into the things with Linux, I doubt that you will be happy with Linux. Honestly, that's just my opinion. What I found, by the way, very funny was here in Zorin OS 17.1. <laughs> One of the first things what I noticed was that I couldn't see my terminal. I really had to look for and then I had to uh, type in the search bar terminal because before I knew I needed the terminal to look something up or to, I don't, I don't even remember, install it on, use new fetch. For example, well, it was quite funny because they built it so that you don't even really need the terminal. They made a, a really neat thing of it. Now, yeah, what I found annoying was so the the simple screen recorder didn't work and Kazam, it didn't record anything and it didn't shut down. So there was that little camera in this taskbar, and when you clicked on it, the menu was grayed out. Once you started it, then it started recording. I don't know, that was one annoying thing. Then you had to go into the system monitor and the system monitor is comparable with the task monitor. And then you really had to go to the task just like in Windows and then with your right mouse button, there is the way to stop a service or stop a task, end a task or kill a task. So. It didn't stop, it didn't end, even though it didn't do anything useful. It wouldn't just disappear when I clicked end. I really had to click or uh, kill <laughs> to get rid of it. It was, <coughs> sorry, I find it funny that there is an option kill. <laughs> anyway, it's just hilarious in my opinion. However, I think I will go to the next distro. Maybe it will be Pop OS, but I dare say that this Zorin OS is already one of the favorites. It would be even be above Linux Mint just because of the layout, how it looks and feels. It feels a little bit better. And that said, I don't want to talk too much today. I have things to do and I'm hungry. So I wish you a really great day ahead. Goodbye. That's that's just uh, the two cents that I wanted to give you for as a noob, first time coming in contact with Linux and different distros. So, yeah. Have a good one. Goodbye.